welcome to the Elimination Season 4. Can you believe it? <laughs> Funny people are going head to head. And here's your host, Bob. <laughs> uh, I digress. Hello, I am Bob, your host of Elimination. That was quite boring, wasn't it, when I just came in there? Hello, welcome to Elimination. That's, that's, that's better. Yeah, it's yeah. unusual for you to be boring. Oh, I calm down. Gee, that's my dad, everyone. Um, I'm Bob, your host of Elimination Podcast. I'm here with my dad, Dave. How do Who is drinking... Well, it's just, I don't normally drink wine at this uh, Elimination Podcast, but we had a guest yesterday who was a big wine drinker, and she was driving, so she only had a thimble full, so I've got to finish it off. That's it, it's half nine in the morning at the moment. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, we, have got, we have got some nice pork chops to have later on, so I shall finish it. Uh, are they going to be cooked when you go down? Because you weren't happy about your vindaloo uh, the other day. I am joking, it's not half past nine. Uh, your vindaloo weren't ready when you went no, downstairs. You're oh, you were gutted. the fridge. Very disappointed. Fuming. I was. But, yeah, she we are. I'll put her wise. She knows you should get in the back of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and Cousin Pauline's here. With a cup of tea. Yay! Hey. One shook, God, one shook. What is that growing up there? Oh, I looked at, just looked at that and thought, oh, it's not that growing, looks really it's dying. sad. We, we, we it, there's a the plant garden, pot. They so wouldn't those. die. We forgot about it because it's in here. So oh. it died. Just like a bit like a bit of grass. <laughs> Just like the plant we're all dying in this room. It was room. a nice geranium, but oh well. Oh, I like a nice geranium with chips. I like a geranium. <laughs> um, so favourite bag of crisps, Dave. I'm not really a crisp person, but to the truth. Wait, wait, oh. Where did you get that? I just I was thinking about it on the way here. I was no, thinking not, if, I if really, I was I which comes really to shelves. Oh, and, and what as a kid, what flavours would you go for? I didn't really eat them as a kid. Oh, he's boring. Oh, he? no, no, make no, something no, up. No. I suppose if you had to twist me on cheese and onion, but you don't look thrilled by it. No, I'm being a crisp. <laughs> I'm being tortured by eating crisps. Oh, I love a crisp. Oh, meat. me I love too. A crisp. I had a crisp sandwich yesterday. No, they're nice. they're no good for you, by the way. Uh, yeah, who cares? <laughs> what is a glass of wine? Um, in the I, 80s, they brought out like, that hedgehog flavour, didn't they? Hedgehog? Yeah, hedgehog flavour crisps. Oh, no, I don't remember that. Yeah, they were yeah. a bit sharp. Oh, that's great. That doesn't serve it. Um, uh, I'm, I'm partial of any barbecue flavour, really. Oh, I love Like barbecue. a Pringle or yeah. something, yeah. I did like uh, salt and vinegar. Oh, that's my favourite, salt and vinegar. Yeah, they just yeah, make you thirsty, didn't they? Yeah, oh, so- in a nice... Salt, salt and vinegar, vinegar crisps in a sandwich. Oh, it's I, that's the only time I could. Do you remember the crisps that used to have the salt, the separate salt yeah, sachet? Yeah, salt and shakes. Still, yeah. still around. Didn't they used to do? Um, they did a competition once. It was there was a fiver in some of them. Like, oh no, uh, I don't remember that. I remember a kid finding that. It was like he'd won the lottery. Like. No, I don't remember that. But then he was gutted. He didn't have any salt to put on his crisps. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, like cheese and onion. I've told you before in a banana sandwich. Yeah, that's, that's that amazing. is weird. That is Try weird. it though, because you will like it. I like um, I like a Dorito as well. Yeah. Cheesy Doritos. I could eat a whole bag of well, that. I'll tell you what I do like. Go on. A Monster Munch beef. Mm, oh. Not a big fan of Monster Munch. They're too big. What I have eaten lately is the ready salted hula hoops, but the big ones. Oh, the puff ones. Yeah, yeah. as in Sainsbury's and uh, other shops are available. And um, I uh, took a bag out of the the box thing, and the bottom of it was open. Have I told this story? I feel like I've this is deja vu. I pull, I pulled it out, and the bottom of the bag was open. So. Hula hoops went everywhere. Oh, no. Yeah, I was, um, I weren't best pleased. Everyone I'll tell you, I've got mad on lately, which I've, I haven't done for ages, years and years. Go on. Oh, well, you know, I'm a big marmalade fan. I do like my whiskey flavour marmalades. Like Paddington. My, yeah, all different flavour marmalades. I love them. Do you have them with the but, shreddy bits? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Just, yeah. And, uh, it's, it's pure heart. Marmalade, right? Yeah, it's just like a load of jam. Uh, well, it is jam. <laughs> I know, but it's <laughs> like just uh, nothing. Like It's like... Pick, people have pickle without the lumps, yeah, don't they? Really? Oh, like that. <laughs> That's just brown uh, yeah. soup, isn't seedless it? jam. Seedless jam, yeah, yeah. 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 So loads of that, yeah. seedless yeah. jam. Anyway, go on. I buy mine. Oh, oh. Hello. oh my God, I've really enjoyed it. I thick old bread there in the old toaster and I whack it on really thick. God, oh, you are saying that and I'm fancying that right now. Yeah. I've never eaten Marmite. And I've had day. it about the last week, every morning. Well, I've, you say it, that that's a funny thing because... I, every time I go to have toast, Marmite is my thing. 
I'll always have my mic no matter what. Even if I'm thinking, putting the butter on, thinking, I have some nice jam on this one, I think. But, but then I think, oh, I'm going to miss Marmite, yeah. yeah. So Marmite is my way to go. Yeah, I mean, I will go back to Marmalade because I'm a Marmalade freak. They tell you that you can put Marmite on your roast potatoes, halfway them being done, put Marmite on and then shake them up, put them back in. Apparently they're meant to be amazing. Vixter did it um, for me a couple of weeks ago. Are they good? And uh, they were an acquired taste. I mean, yeah. And of course, it can liven up a cheese sandwich. Oh, absolutely. Cheese and Marmite. I've never had that ever. Cheese and Marmite sandwich is really nice. I like to have... um, Do it. I like to have... uh, But it has to be grated cheese for me. I don't know why. It can't be sliced. Grated cheese in a sandwich is so much better than... Yeah, why is that? I buy a bag of grated... What you lazy cow? I, will, I promise you. I promise you. It's I'll cheaper buy to buy a grater. I'll, I'll buy a grater in the cupboard. But I've got a bag. I buy bags of grated cheese. Oh, that's that's an expensive way of buying. That's lazy. Like you. <laughs> it's very you got lazy. Lots of money for all it. I got no money. You're joking. <laughs> Could you grate like blue cheese? I think it's too soft, isn't it? Oh, is it? We did not. Is it flake? Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, can't okay. imagine that. Just stick to the grater, wouldn't it? Yeah. It wouldn't be great. <laughs> Oh my God. I'm a pound down. You know, I told you I'm six pound on. Oh, hello. Yeah, go I'm on. I'm five pound on. Okay. Pound off. Still in the pluses, though. Oh, yeah. Still got to get the five pound off just to get to where I was. <laughs> See, I've convinced myself that during this filming of my sitcom, Dusty, um, that my, I want my character to be weighty. And unkempt. Oh, so you so got to be fat I, for it. I ain't shaved my beard. I ain't done my hair. Yeah, but it's not for ages yet. I know, exactly. I'm not going to do it until it's done. End of April. Oh, I'm gonna look like a hobo. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get a combo. A hobo. hobo. <laughs> yeah, that as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about if I can get a comb over. Oh, Do you reckon oh, I could? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, don't no, know. you won't be like You should have started at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I was scared at Christmas. I didn't want it. I didn't want to do it. I thought oh, I'd just be me. But then uh, yeah, I'm gonna be unkempt. So I wanted to borrow one of your suits, Dave. I got your suits. You but your have. character. Oh, I've got a suit. Yeah, I bought one for Christopher's wedding, didn't I? Yeah, so I'll yeah. borrow that one. I just want it to be a bit bigger, big for me. Go on, Pauline, what was you going to say? Oh, that's a bit cheeky, wouldn't Be it? like wearing a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> a pair of shoes. <laughs> Go on. Your character yeah. in your thing, when I read it in my head, it wasn't big and fat and unkept. Unkept? Unkept. Yeah, unkempt. Know, oh, I've always thought it's unkept. Kept. What's kept? I've always, I've always <laughs> said that. What is it actually? Unkempt. Kempt. Like Martin Kemp. Yeah, yeah. Like Ross oh, Kemp. I did have. Do you know that? Learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> always said unkempt. Oh, that's one of the questions. Isn't it? Oh, <laughs> that's, that's not that one out. <laughs> yeah, it went like that in my head. No, because, do you know what it is? I think I've established that Mike and Bob, they're the two main characters, brothers. Um, right is about, that a good idea? Right about what you know. What? Should you change the name? Yeah, I think so. No, definitely not. Um, and, uh, Should have one Kev. Kev. Um, anyway, so uh, Mike's just... Kevin Rod. Rod? Rod <laughs> yeah. Rod. Rod. Kevin Rod. 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 Rodri. Bloody old Kev. Yeah, that does work. Yeah, Kev, yeah. Kev, right, change that. That's my contribution. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my idea was that Mike's just come out of prison and looks quite good, but Bob has been out in the real world. Oh, so he's and he, where weathered. you would think it would be the other way around, but Bob's at it hard, kind of working, oh, yeah. and, you know. So that that was the idea that Bob's like um, losing sleep and that, and he's like, oh, best sleep in the world in there. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, the that was my characters idea. Characters that I can't wait, to, but I won't say nothing. Don't want to spoil nothing. Yeah, go on. Hey, okay, uh, the draw. The draw we did. The Tiger draw. Woods. What? Oh, you don't. Don't matter. Carry on. <laughs> What's that? It was just a private conversation on the golf course. It was just it? a joke, wasn't it? Uh, it was on the news. Uh, What's happened? Everywhere. What, 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 what I missed? He says he played a golf shot or something, and he walked along with his mate, and he said something like, "Oh, I swung, I swung a club like a woman or something." No, he had. No, have you seen the, not seen the video? No, I've not seen the guy. He had Tiger Woods goes to his mate and hands him as discreet as anything, but they've zoomed right in a tampon in a word. <laughs> as a joke. And they both laugh and Tiger Woods puts his arm around him and they both laugh. Oh my God, it's gone mad, the world. Really? It's been on the news, everything, up in arms. Why? I believe it's... People are absolutely raging that it was... Disrespectful yeah, to women. Yeah, it's ruined the whole game. It's ruined the game, they were saying. 
It could have been worse. He could have taken the shot with it. He had to do a full apology and everything. It wasn't used, though, was it? But you can barely see it. You can see it where they've they've zoomed in so much. Why? It's just a a joke between them two. He said, we're mates. So it's just... I can't believe you didn't see it. I don't watch the news. I thought to myself, the first two people that come into my head, especially Dave, was you two. And I thought, oh, they're going to be having a field day after this, about this one. Because it's that ridiculous. He's going to do it at the screening, isn't he, when we go and watch watch stuff. Yeah, Oh, yeah. I I did hear about the story and that, you know, but but it's just, I mean, disrespectful to women. Yeah, but. It really, people are absolutely. It's a very, oh, I see some woman on the news. Oh, it's a very personal thing for a woman, and they must. Be, it's upset so many people around the world. I mean, I'll give yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Poly- it's a joke on a golf course. Yeah, for between two mates. Yeah, private. Oh. And the camera, how they spotted it, I don't know because it's done so discreet. I'll tell you who it is dis- disrespectful for: um, the woman who's going down her bag and can't find her tampon. <laughs> Now, that's who it is. She's in a, in the toilet somewhere, not being able to find it. And Tiger Woods is out there. And that would be a terrible situation to be in. Situation. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. Um, well, if you're out there, Tiger Woods, get in touch. Let us know how you feel. Um, yeah, sorry, that just popped in my head because I want, wanted to know. But you were rubbish. You haven't seen. Well, it. news. I mean, I don't watch the news. Don't read papers. Don't. I just how don't. Do you know what's going on in the world? Well, Vic said to me the other day they found that woman, oh. and I was like, what woman? I had no idea. Somebody. You're joking. I have no That's idea. Terrible. That is. I don't. I don't know what. Is happened. it definitely? No. Her? I know they found a body. They a mile. Set, well, no, up to this afternoon, it's got to they have said, said it's her. I can't get over that bloke though, who's criticising the police, saying, "Oh, they ought to get us in there, and we'll if yeah. she's in there, we'll find her in one yeah. day." He went up there with his crew, done the whole thing. No, she can't, can't be in there. She can't be in there. It's found her people. less than a mile away. Yeah, less than a mile away. Two yeah. people walking their dog. Yeah, yeah. So what, did she, so what did she do? Told you, dog walkers. Dog walkers, I'm telling you. They're all yeah. in, on, in on it, I'm telling you. Um, That's such a sad... So what happened to her then? Do we know? Well, they found her phone on the bench right. by the water. Well, we know all that. I mean, yeah. we don't know, I don't. We don't know she... where she ended up in the water, do we? I'll no. wait for the Netflix special. Uh, oh, right. don't, Bob, it's sad. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I, I don't watch the news and that. That's what I mean. I, when there's a documentary about it, I watch that. Oh, right. And then it tells you everything. Do you, while it's going on, you don't know anything. It's all you like, don't know. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, anyway, thoughts to her family. Um, the draw was made last episode. Um, go. Twelve minutes in, look, we twelve minutes. Simon in. Pegg versus Dave Allen. Go. Right, Simon Pegg is a fifty-three-year-old English actor, comedian, screenwriter, and producer. He first appeared on our screens in the Channel Four sitcom, sitcom Space, <laughs> which he co-created. He went on to co- co-write hit comedy films, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. He co-starred in these films with Nick Frost. Frost and Peg also starred and wrote the sci-fi, com- sci-fi comedy film, Paul. And he's up against Dave Allen, who was an Irish comedian, satirist and actor. He is best known for his observational comedy, targeting politics and religion. <laughs> Come in, don't write it. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, yeah, Allen. Alan's act had a very relaxed style. He sat on a high bar stool facing the audience, smoking and occasionally sipping a drink from his whiskey glass. His technique and style influenced young British comedians. Alan died in March 2005, aged 68. That's young, isn't it? Oh, that is young. Who do you want to start with, Dave? I'm going to start with um, a joke Dave Allen told in one of his shows. And it's, it, it's in 1990 he told this joke. And it just goes to show how television and jokes and humour has changed for the uproar it produced. Yeah, I think 1990, yeah, that long ago, but it really is, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> he goes, uh, there was questions in Parliament about this joke. They're disgusting things. Were really? Yep. Yeah. Right. You, Dave, can I move your wine? I just feel very nervous. It's not going over, by I know, but you can't see it in... No, now we'll go. You put gonna it gonna the I've, moved it, I've moved it. I've moved it. Table, I've moved it. I've moved right. it. Right. You wake up to the clock. You go to work to the clock. You clock into the clock. You clock out to the clock. You come home to the clock. You eat to the clock. You drink to the clock. You go to bed to the clock. You go back to work to the clock. You do that for 40 years of your life, and then you retire. What do they give you? 
a fucking clock. <laughs> And he told that joke exactly as I told him. What's wrong with that then? I'm not getting it. Oh, saying the word. On Clock. British television. <laughs> I can't go to what word? What word? A fucking clock. Oh. And now that oh, word gets says say. on game shows, oh, God, chat yeah. shows, but there was such an uproar. Was there? There was questions asked in Parliament about it, you know. And uh, Because he said the F word on yeah, telly. Yeah, yeah. And just goes to show. But nowadays... Now, and it's swearing. not just now. You go back 15 years, I mean... Oh, yeah. when you're basically saying the C word like it's going out of fashion. Swearing yeah, yeah. is... Like, I, I know I swear too much. And I'm, I'm really trying yeah. not to, but I don't even know. I think it's the company you keep as well. Like, they say you swear like a docker, but that's what yeah, it's like. I'm Builders always, and, you know, Yeah, I'm always like. worse if I'm around you. I can just say anything yeah if I was with certain people I'd think oh but oh if I was with the and it's funny your brain does it but yeah without I mean it it. is amazing isn't it I mean go work with your mates you're effing and blinding all day come home in front of your mum Nothing. Well, That's so as, true. That is as true. A kid, you, you don't consciously that do it. But exactly. even as a kid, as well, as we was getting older, when you was when we was out with our mates, you would sort of throw one in. Yeah. yeah. But then when we you took us over to see Nan or something like that, just, yeah, just and you don't do it consciously. Yeah. So your brain does it all for yourself. All for yourself. I mean. It's, just one of them yeah, things, isn't weird, it? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Showing face. Some people, it doesn't work, though, because Michael just yeah. swears in front of everyone. Yeah. I mean. But you could say, good for him, he's being himself, no matter who he's Well, no, him. not really. <laughs> I'm trying to stick up for him. No, but you know, when, uh, it's these people who say, I'll say what I want, when I want. Yeah, that's why you can't get a job, mate. Yeah. yeah. That, that's why That's why you're aggressive. That's why everyone hates you. Anyway, I'm not talking about Michael in that, in that scenario. That's just. Uh, I like Dave Allen. All I liked him then, I liked, like him now. Dave Allen, I, I, could, um, I could listen to him talk for ages. Did you, like, tell the one where, did you see the one where he was um, teaching, his, teaching his kid at a time? Oh, it time? made me laugh. It's oh, true, though, isn't oh, it? It was so true. Yeah, and when you get the two, that's ten. Ten, yeah. <laughs> and when you get the seven, that's 25 or 35. And the third and he's the second yeah <laughs> and the third the second hand no wonder I couldn't tell the time as a kid <laughs> oh it was so funny because I thought I, never, I didn't know who he was I come out of here the other day you've never seen him no I'm thinking who is this Dave Allen and you know when you put that picture in our little room yeah yeah, yeah. I thought oh, Dave Allen I didn't realise he was in um, what's that thing that you really like from Breaking Bad <laughs> but it's the next oh Better Call Saul Better Call Saul I thought it was him <laughs> it does look like it's him a actually <laughs> Oh, I know a few things on him already. Dave Allen's the same as Bob Odenkirk. I typed it in, I typed it in, and it came up on YouTube, and the, this older man with grey, and I thought, well, that ain't him. <laughs> but I did watch some jokes. Oh, of, what's I it like living in your funny. world, eh? But he does look like you go by that picture. Yeah, he does, yeah, yeah. I thought he was so funny. Yeah, really, it was really, really good. The sketches are good as well, I like the sketches. Well, the one that made me laugh was the... And I was thinking about this. I went down to the finer things about this one sketch, and it's the one in the church where he comes out of the... He's blessing the baby. Yeah. But you you see... The, the first thing you see is somebody scuba diving or, or deep sea diving, and you think, oh, where's this going? What's happening? And then it just cuts to a christening, and he's holding the baby, and he's pouring the water over the baby's head, and they're all dressed nice and that. And you sort of think... He's not going to come out of there, is he? <laughs> and he does, he pops <laughs> up, doesn't he? And, and I just, you know what's going to happen, but it, it's still funny. I just found it really funny. And I remember uh, uh, ages ago when I went to see David Brent uh, at um, Brighton, um, I was in the hotel room going through the channels and Dave Allen was on, and I, I knew his face, but I don't think I'd ever heard his uh, material at the time. And I was sitting there with Vic, and um, he did a joke where he was talking about how he'd got over being an alcoholic, and he does doesn't need drink, and he doesn't need you know he's does not not dependent on it, and all this. And then a hand comes into the screen to take his drink away, and he goes, "Get away from my drink!" <laughs> <laughs> and and she, even she laughed at that. And then yeah. I thought, well, I've got to look look him up more. And yeah, I really I, liked yeah. it. I was pleasantly the one surprised. with the banknote under the car wheel. Yeah, in the cab. Yeah, guy. yeah. I've seen that a few times yeah, now. Been on, on <laughs> they all yeah. get up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a mass exit. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, really clever. Really clever. Was he? How big did he get, Dave? Was he just sort of... Yeah, he's on a show on uh, BBC uh, about, 50, about 71, mid-80s. But it was always just him, Dave Allen, not, not like... Dave Allen at large. 
was just oh, okay. the name of the Not program. like Dave Allen and Guess. Yeah, or no, no, they weren't that sort of were that, that variety show, and I think I don't know if he had guests or not. I don't, I don't remember it. He's only later on he started doing the sketches. He didn't always do the sketches early on. I don't think he did anyway. But the sketches were really good. Yeah, did you it's see a the high joke? standard. I won't do the jokes, I can't. But when he was saying about um, getting on planes, oh, mm. it was funny. Watch that one on YouTube if you get time um, at some point. Well, it's about this. getting on planes and when you buy the ticket, they don't tell you well, like what can go wrong. But when you're on the plane and you're strapped in, they even bless you and he does the yeah. sign. <laughs> <laughs> but he says it's so natural as if he's just chatting. Yeah. He don't look like he's joking, does it, he? Like, I don't feel like there's a performing side. No, like, it's no just like he's having a chat. Character, yeah. yeah, I really like it. And him. I think that I, I, it reminds me of sort of being a younger kid around you and your mates, Dave, and just the way people used to talk and like the... I don't know, it's, it's just a different time. But, I, yeah, I could listen to him talk for hours. I think I could, actually. I just I went really enjoyed one it. clip after the other. Boom, boom, boom. I just really enjoyed it. I was even laughing, and Vic was like, what are you watching? I was like, oh, you ain't going to... You are not <laughs> interested. Um, on the other side, Simon Pegg. Simon Pegg. Now, you know who he is, don't you? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, it's hello. Not him. It's not him. It's me. <laughs> films. It's a, what? What films? Um, the walk, the thing he did. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Bear that film. It's one of Lewis's favourite films. Oh, oh I thought he was it. good in that. I didn't like Hot Fuzz or The hot World's Fuzz. End. Oh, hot Fuzz, I thought was good. What's the one? Oh, perhaps it's The World's End. I like Paul. Oh, with the angel. Yeah, yeah. I, I said to Lewis, I'm like, the only one I like is Dave. And he went, Dave, I've killed Dave. I said, with the alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean the World's End one is. It was awful. when they were all going to the park. Yeah, that's, yeah, it, that's it was it. horrendous. And yeah, another one. Oh, I did like Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, I mean Shaun of the Dead sort of broke the mould, didn't it? It kind of got yeah. him on the map. And each of the three films, they do a little scene with a cornetto, and it's called the Cornetto film. Yeah, 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 the Cornetto trilogy. The trilogy, yeah. trilogy, that's it. I yeah. knew a little fact because he goes, oh, "Do you want anything for the shop?" And it's like eight in the morning. He goes, "Yeah, Cornetto." Yeah, and that's how it starts. That. So it's not him, it's giving him a bad... It's the actual films, it's just not my humour, it's just... Well, uh, he was, he initially started in Spaced, which is where I saw him, first of all. I went over keen on Spaced. It was very, of its time, very kind of 90s dark. I thought it was very clever. It, it made me realise that you can tell a joke without actually having words. I like the bird, what's her name? Jessica Stevenson. Yeah, I, like I think she's married now. She's got a different name, but I don't know what it is. Is it Jessica Rabbit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but she, there's, a, there's a joke in space that, I, that they're, they're, they've just moved into this flat. They're pretending to be a couple, but they move into this flat and they're, they've got separate rooms. So they're tidying up their separate rooms and they're tidy, you know, putting stuff away. And then they meet up in sort of the front room and they go, God, that was a long day, isn't it? Yeah, it was like, oh, wh- wh- how come you went downstairs? Oh, I was just doing my Scooby-Doo. I was just having a look round and he goes oh yeah well, growing up I used to be Freddy you know when we play games and stuff and she said yeah I was the, the other bird I can't remember her name yeah I wonder who we turn into and she takes off her apron and it knocks like glasses and yeah. it, they're Velma and, oh, and Velma Scrappy and, yeah, yeah. Uh, Scrappy Scrap- Shaggy yeah. Shaggy yeah <laughs> Scrappy do <laughs> <laughs> yeah and they're visually they're them and, and I, that just it really sort of stayed in my mind that joke and, and I try and do that when I write now I just try and yeah. give a little visual but um, but yeah I, I thought Simon Pegg was when you watch when he used to watch a sitcom you can see people acting and it's quite funny but then when I watch Spaced and Always Sunny in Philadelphia some of them are such good actors that they it's not like they're acting in a you sitcom. It's like, acting. yeah, it's like they're real. People yeah, and chatting. and it's I like the reaction that Simon Pegg does, like when somebody else is talking. It is like he's you're not just watching that person talk. He sort of does faces and you know gestures yeah. and stuff. I, I just I really yeah. liked him in that second season. Was a bit they started to spoof things like the Matrix and things like that. It was a bit out there. But little known fact, you still ain't going to care about this, but. The house that they used in Spaced, um, sometimes fans go and take a picture outside of it. It's quite an iconic building. Quite yeah, I've mentioned this before. Have I? Oh, because with the yeah, season yeah, one, yeah. yeah. But you wasn't involved. No. So, um, so um, at the, if you buy the box set of it and you watch the sort of 
uh, extras, bonus, they Jessica Stevenson and Simon Pegg go back to the house and they just take you round it and, you know, and all that. And they're going round it and somebody says, their fans are outside taking photos. Oh. And he was like, oh, brilliant. And he's, his character a lot of the times wears a woolly hat. So he's like, isn't we got all he at? And, he, and they go out the front door and they go, Oi, you can all take pictures as the characters. Yeah, yeah. And that. Oh, but they're they like, oh my that. God, yeah. Imagine that. Yeah, and I just thought that was really... Um, That's really good. Yeah. yeah. But I think they, I think Simon, uh, Sean of the Dead and uh, Paul... He'd done that film about the running as well, didn't he? Run, one? Fat Boy yeah, Run. That's yeah, that's yeah. That was all right, I mean... He's done really well for himself, though, because apart from his own sort of films... He turns up a Scotty in the Star Trek franchise, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, Mission Impossible. He's, uh, he's in Star Wars as well. Is he? He was in The Force Awakens. So not many people do Star Trek and he's Star Wars. He's a huge fan of Star Wars He was as in well. Doctor Who, Mission Impossible, and he voiced Buck in the Ice Age movies. And Oh, did he? So he's done he's really done well. Lot, he? And he uh, did... Um, he was... You know, the, the Tintin movie they made, the Thompson yeah, Twins, yeah. he was one of them. Nick Frost was yeah. the other one. That's yeah. a funny film, that, wasn't it? Yeah, I watched it the other day. It actually. sort of weren't real people. It weren't puppets or it was yeah. sort of in between. I thought it would have done another one, but it didn't. I thought they would, Oh, yeah. oh I'm a bit of a Tintin fan. Yeah, me too. Purges yeah. Adventures <laughs> of Tintin. Yeah, yeah I could... Captain Haddock. Yeah. Blistering barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I like I, if you watch that cartoon, because I, I loved the books as a kid. Uh, the cartoon, he gets knocked out a lot. Oh yeah, whacked yeah. around the head a lot. Poor old Tintin. I'm surprised his hair's still quiffing What's up. What's his dog's name? I ain't got a clue. Oh, what? Sake. I wasn't into bloody Tintin. Why sure. not? I know what Tintin was with the black, quiff, but no. The black, the black, black. Only got a black quiff. No, he's no. like ginger. Oh, he looked like a young Alan Ladd. I thought. <laughs> he's a bit boyy, Tintin. Oh, I liked it. it was Snowy was the dog. Oh, yeah, now you've said that, I do know. Well, yeah, because I just told yeah, you. Yeah, but I... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. I remember, but no, I weren't into none of that. What was you into? What Bros. Yeah, that sort of age. I weren't watching cartoons. Never really been into cartoons. I said I used to love as a kid, the Flintstones. Oh, I like... Yeah, oh, Flintstones great, is good. Was that Flint? It's funny, because I, I always imagine that's how you leave work, Dave, when you was working. The, the yeah, fun, but, but, <laughs> and then you just slide down something and get and in the, the car. The films were terrible. Have you seen the film? Oh, no, I'm not oh, really oh, the film. Oh, I went to cinema to see the first one, yeah. That's yeah, bad. it's John Goodman, wasn't it? And uh, Rick Joan, Moranis. I think Joan Collins was in, wasn't she? Or Elizabeth Taylor, wasn't Possibly. it? Possibly. Elizabeth Taylor, wasn't it? Yeah. Wilma I think was. She was. Wilma was a bit of a all right, wasn't she? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was rubbish. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was bizarre. I went to the cinema. Uh, that was the time I was going to cinema to see anything. Like, I just loved the cinema. I know you Pebbles and Bam Bam brought anything to the party. But it was better when they weren't in it, I thought. Yeah, D- Dino was good, though. Oh, Dino, yeah, yeah. You yeah. always pleased to see him when he came home. Oh, right? when he just, yeah. Bam, it's like that. Not. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's out. Don't, don't even look up. <laughs> Disgusted by that. <laughs> he don't even look up. <laughs> don't even look at you when you call him on nothing. Oh, oh it's me and Sweet D, man. Horrible. We're, we're our relationship. Know, all the cats are bad. Yeah, like oh, probably. I come in. I come in. She comes running down the stairs. Yeah. Rolls over. I give her a rub on the belly and dive on your lap. And you're, well, I should have been like, "Where you? All right, settle down." Yeah, like, that's why I could never have a dog. I don't think because if your dogs are quite. Needed. They're bulky as well, they some need, dogs, yeah. aren't they? I can't stand dogs where they're so greedy and they just look at you while you eat your dinner and they'll stare up at you the whole time, yeah. waiting for a little... You should try feeding them first, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> they do that, <laughs> didn't they? Every dog you yeah, know, yeah. you're eating, so they'll yeah. sit right there God, waiting. Greedy. What's this thing that, that we... I was watching Dragon's Den the other day and um, somebody came on there with a, with a dog lead that is... Look, I don't know what you call it, cut proof. You can't cut it. Oh. It's like like with scissors or a knife and that. It's yeah. like strong. Why would thing. you want to cut it? Anyway? This is, cut we, it? The woman was this. That's what Peter Jones said. But um, the woman was saying there is a there is a heightened thing at the moment with people stealing dogs oh, and no. they run along, cut the lead, and run off with your dog. And he, I was like, does that happen? I, I mean, I know they're on a thing about horrible. stealing dogs, but I didn't realise that's how they done it. Right, right there with you holding the lead. Yeah. I do love dog. I do like a dog. I do yeah. like a dog. <laughs> oh, I do like a dog with chips. Oh no, I love, <laughs> I love dogs. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not too fussed about them. 
You're a cat person. I it's fully good exercise, am. Good exercise, isn't it? Walking the dog twice a yeah, day. Yeah. Very social, isn't they it? They say it's meeting people, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's meant to be really social. Those two people. things, though, I couldn't... Uh, if it's pouring rain and uh, just... Horrible. Yeah, because you still got to take do, it I couldn't do the picking. The and the, yeah, that's what I mean. That's what Chris just, said. He's not picking up no animal no, on this I earth. Do it. They must think you're mad, mustn't they? <laughs> yeah. They must say, why does he pick it up every time? Oh, he he must... was with his kids, though. He'll turn white in the road yeah. and on the pavement. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, yeah. Cole, when we used to go and play football. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus. All the time, my nut, my nut. Yeah. We used to use them as posts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jeez. It was everywhere when we were kids. Yeah, yeah. on the pavement. I remember it really yeah. well. Yeah, I remember it really yeah, well. That's a good, good reason they do it. I'm sure my uncle Fred, he when he was uh, like his foot, his forties or whatever. Pe- pe- I think he took over Peck and Bark, and it died of heart attack and had to carry it home. Oh no! Yeah, he walked along the street with a dead dog. I'm sure. Sh- I, oh, I did no. hear that story. I, I'm sure. Are you sure that weren't one of your dodgy dreams? It might, it might <laughs> have been, but after, after some wine, <laughs> I think it, I think it's a true story. I know somebody will know if it's a true story or not. Yeah. We'll have to confirm. Yeah, we'll have to confirm. Oh no, because she'll uh, WhatsApp me as soon as she hears this. Yeah. yeah. Join you, in at home. <laughs> you do have some weird dreams, don't you? Full on. Oh, I dream of I'm back at work, working. Oh, God. That's not a dream, that's a nightmare. Oh, no. <laughs> things always go wrong, like, you know, I'll be in the dark room and then realise the light's on and all the films are spoiled. <laughs> what can I do? What can I do? There's nothing you can do. I mean, we, uh... Then you wake up and think, oh, thank God for that. Yeah. But sometimes I get the two. Because I, I was eight years at the garage, bus garage, and I was 30 odd years at um, Stones. And sometimes I go there and the two places get... The two blokes from each one will be with each other and it can't, couldn't have happened, you know. Yeah. Yeah. In the dream, it can't work out who's who. Didn't you say, though, I might have dreamt this, <laughs> <laughs> that one of your uh, best memories of a family member, but I can't remember which family member it was, wasn't even real, it was a dream. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, you did say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be Doris, yeah. Your best memory of her weren't even real. I, I, I've seen it before. I, I, I made it up. I was having a bit of a, not a night, I don't think I've ever had a nightmare, but I was having a bad dream where I was in this old house and it was, on the walls was just these horrible pictures like of ghosts and ghouls and oh. werewolves and I was terrified. I was only a young lad and I came to this bit in the house downstairs and it was like a hub and you had all these corridors go off in different directions and I didn't know what one to go down, you know. And next minute, my auntie Doris turns up beside oh. me and she goes, come on, lad, I'll get you out of here. Oh. And she put her arm around me and off we went. That's your favourite memory. Yeah, that no, never happened. <laughs> 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 but that is my biggest memory of her. No, I bet no. next time you saw her, you thought, oh, it's not yeah. really she after me. <laughs> yeah. and it, isn't it funny, bizarre, though? Isn't, isn't, it? It, isn't it funny in a dream, though, where, where somebody you haven't seen... For oh, yeah, like a kid yeah. I went to school with, who I probably only spoke to five yeah, times, yeah, yeah. they would look exactly the same. They talk yeah. the same. But they played a starring role in your <laughs> dream. <laughs> <Starring> <laughs> role. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Turned it up in my dream. I had a dream the other. If if something sort of stays on my mind, I will dream about it. Like if I've got something big coming up, like when oh, I was I'm like that. when I was learning how to drive, I would dream about um, being in a car out of control. That's what you're worried about it, yeah. And the first time I went abroad, um, losing my passport and, you know, being stranded and all that kind of stuff. But lately it's been, I I am binge-watching Better Call Saul. And I messaged you recently, Dave, didn't I? Because something really... That episode. I was so shocked. I I was, yeah, I'm not going to go on about it, but watch it. If you're a Breaking Bad fan, you've got to watch Better Call Saul. But it stayed in my mind. And I had a dream that I was in space with that character, Dave, and Saul, and uh, living out the episode in space. (laughs) And the episode was like Saul in space. And it was was bizarre. Another great episode was when he was back there before, and old, uh, what's it, had him on the gun, on the rifle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, that's a great right. episode. Yeah, yeah. Well. It's a great show. It's a, I get he's a real time. good baddie, isn't he, that bloke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bear Call Saul, yeah. is that, that's one with the brother that I can't stand that's the done. The brother? Of, Who's scared of the electric? Scared of the electric. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chuck. All the house Chuck, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about that. Watch that, because, uh, you know. Oh, it gets better and better. It gets amazing, yeah. Are you finished it now, then? No, we, oh. I think we've got two left. Because they're all black oh, and white. really intricate, that thing they done on Howard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. 
Anyway, this is we'll, we'll discuss yeah, this yeah, afterwards. Yeah, yeah. People don't know what we're talking about. Like, what, what are you <laughs> talking about? What yeah. the hell? It's a fan. Don't tell me those stuff. Yeah. No, 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 do it. Uh, it's time. <laughs> the quiz. Right, now, this quiz is based on Wikipedia. Oh. And. Mm. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> and it's who turns up top of the list. You know, when you put something in like yeah. Fred. They're more famous, oh, well, they? I think you mean. I mean, he's right. done yeah. Yeah. So you're going to so give us a search for yeah, You're going to be inventive with these I'm going to give you a search, and I'm going to give you three, and you've got to tell me what one is the top, the oh. highest. So we take it might not be turn. the top, but it's the highest of the three. Right, OK. Yeah. So I'll get my 1963 penny. <laughs> that bloody <laughs> pen! <laughs> dropped his pen. <laughs> Robert. Uh, Tails. Never fails. It doesn't work. For, I can't tell what it is. Are you going first or second? Um, I'll go first. Because then there's time. no argument then about, oh, these ones are oh, easy. No, oh, no, I don't. Have you what? noticed I've moaned for a long, long time? Yes, because you're winning. Because I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> now, what it is, there's three answers. So if you get it wrong, the next one gets a go. And oh. it's, easier. it's easier for the person. to go. Because there's only two to choose from. Yeah, well, I wish I'd known that before I said I was going to Right, you go first? Uh, no, I've got a second. Oh. <laughs> right, Pauline, you ready? Hang yeah. on, I'll just check this for you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Charming. Where's right. the bell? Oh, there it is. Number one is Michael, and you've got a choice. And they're not in any order, but I give yeah. you a choice. Just our right Just down. what I think come um, Say the up. highest last. <laughs> Michael J. Fox. Oh. Michael Jordan, basketball legend. Oh. Or Michael Jackson. Oh, now who's going to be top out of them three? So the instant reaction was one, but if something's happened lately and a lot of people have googled lately, not Google, Wikipedia. No, Michael Wikipedia. Lately's not there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because there was that documentary. About play it home, play it home, shout it out. Wasn't there? And I was just estimating that if you carry a lot of this, this quiz is going to last two hours, <laughs> forty seven minutes. I'm going. Do you know what? I'm going to go with Michael Jordan. Oh. MJ, Michael Jackson. Correct. That was my yeah. obvious, but yeah, not it was always going to be. Michael Jackson was the top. Michael Jordan was second, and Michael J. Fox was eighth. Because I remember the documentary okay. wasn't that long ago, really. Right, was Robert, it? you were wrong. You no, have no. got green. green, green, green. Okay. Now, is it the country Greenland? The band Green Day. Oh, I like them. Oh, I like them. Or the, oh, WWE. I've got it. Look at you. <laughs> or NFL franchise, the Green Bay Packers. Mm. The pack is back. <laughs> I don't know them. I'm not. I'm going to say Aaron no. Rodgers. I'm going to legend. Rule, I'm going to rule out Greenland straight away. No messing. Green Bay Packers or Green Day. Things are the football's huge over there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go Green Day. Oh, is it football? I it was By the way, Aaron bigger. Rodgers, the legendary quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, he should move move club. He's been there too long, Constable. Anyway, let's get away from that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Green Day, final answer. Oh, right. is it Greenland or the Green Bay Packers? Green Packers. It's Greenland! Hey, Greenland. Hey. You... Nil pois! Oh. You, you... Do, you, do you know what a Green no, Bay Packers is? No, I thought it was a wrestler because he said WWE. <laughs> <laughs> right, Pauline, you're ready? Right, concentrate team. now. Go with the obvious. Top. Is it Top Gun, the movie? Right. Top Gun Maverick, the newer movie? Oh, and that's... Or is it BBC legendary show Top Gear? Uh, oh. I was going to say top of the pop. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to say. <laughs> I should say that none of these is the top, top. Shall I say oh, what, what the, top, the top, top, top Yeah, go on. The top, top is toy, the top. Oh, yeah, the pushing oh, top. Right, yeah. yeah. Right, so we got Top Gun, Top Gun Maverick, Top Gear. What are you going for, Paul? What a rubbish toy that was. I'm going... Um, yeah, it goes back a long way, though, doesn't it? I'm going... I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs> top Gun. What one? The first Top Gun, the original. <gasps> what are you going for? Uh, what were they? Top Gun oh, Maverick. Got, and what's Top Gun other? Maverick and Top Gear, the TV show. I'm tempted to go for the American one because it's just bigger. But 
Top Gear goes back a long way. I'll go Top Gear. Oh, oh my God. Top Gun Maverick. And I was thinking the film's only just come out. Everyone would think that. That was the yeah. second. That top was your gun, third. Yeah, top no. Gear, fourth. I should stop oh. going with my fault and just go. Right. Away. You'll go. And you've got David. David. <laughs> David Rubik, come up. David Rubik, oh. podcast legendary. <laughs> uh, number one is obviously me. <laughs> <laughs> but these are three others. But then he came up with me as David's <laughs> son. Actually, the top one is the David, the biblical figure. David oh, David. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you've got a choice of Attenborough. Oh, oh legend. Beckham. Oh, oh legend. Or Bowie. Oh, Ooh, that's, tough, that's a toughie, that is. Dunce, magic dunce. <laughs> um, I like David Barrett. Oh, come on, say me. Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> and here we see the Dave in his natural <laughs> habitat. <laughs> holding, <Tonight. laughs> <laughs> holding a quiz for two idiots. Um, <laughs> um, that is really hard, actually. It's got to be Amber, isn't it? Got to be it's Amber. Not actually, it's Attenborough. Attenborough. I'm going final answer. Attenborough. Final answer. Seventh on the list. Oh, oh, wow. Right, so it's Beckham or Bowie. I'm surprised. Surely it's not Beckham over Bowie. David Bowie, when he died, surely everyone was... But am I thinking too much into it? And David Beckham is David Beckham. Who would I, who would I Wikipedia? David Beckham, I would. Not that... I've got to stop thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was loving that. Was <laughs> just around the phone. This is what's going on in my head. <laughs> I'm going to say David Bowie. Hey! He was second. Beckham was four. Yes, he four. One, one. Mm. Who's going now? Yours, Paul, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was a steal. Now, if you have David, now you've got Robert. Hey! Oh. Right. Have we got Robert... Robert... Lewandowski, legendary Polish footballer, Does famous that, who's he? legend of Bayern Munich. Lewandowski, good player. Robert Plant, lead singer of Led Zeppelin. Well, none of these mean anything to Or them. Robert Downey Jr., <gasps> a.k.a. Iron Man. What are you going for? He was also good in Tropic Thunder. That's a bit hard because I don't know him. <laughs> I don't know who would be the most popular. One's a footballer and football is always... Oh, by the way, who's number the... one was Robert De Niro. Oh, oh, because we know him, Bob, Bob De Niro. <laughs> Who was the second one again, Robert? Robert Lewandowski, Robert Plant, lead singer with Led Zeppelin, and Robert Downey Jr. I'm just going to pick any then. Robert Downey Jr. Because I... Oh, oh, see, what? I do better when I don't know him. Uh, <laughs> he was second, Robert Plant was third, Robert Lewandowski was seventh. Now we've got Pauline. Oh, I feel sorry for anybody. All right, you ready? It came up with unknown. <laughs> we got right. We got Paulie. Who was top of that? Oh, it's one of them. The top, so you can't say. Well, it was only oh, three. Roberts. <laughs> Roberts. No, Pauline. No, I'm the Pauline. Oh, I don't know. Paul, someone I never Didn't even bother writing it yeah. down. Somebody from history. <laughs> right, you've got Australian politician Pauline Hanson. Oh, for God's sake. Mother to the Hanson boys. You've got know. the French-American actress, it's a good name, this, Pauline Chalamet. I like that, oh, yeah. Chalamet. Nice. Chalamet. Oh, you got Pauline Fowler out of these things. <laughs> 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 so I weren't in there then. So, <laughs> so you're barely here, to be fair. Uh, so... So, Paul, so sorry, forget the names. Just tell me what they are. Politician. I mean, Australian politician, a French-American actress, or Pauline Fowler, East End. I've got to go That's Pauline Fowler. I've got to go Pauline Fowler. Ah, <laughs> oh, what? Right, you got the Australian politician or the French-American actress? Well, I've never heard of either of them, so I'm going the actress. <laughs> <laughs> Number two was uh, Pauline Hanson, Australian politician. Chalamet was four, Pauline Fowler was seven. She's the equivalent of the uh, at David to be in Attenborough. That's the oh, Pauline. Right. That's the Pauline Jesus. level. I tell you though, I do like. When, I did like Wendy Richards. Right, she was nice. Yeah, it's just Richard, yeah. actually. It oh, was it? Richard. Did you it's like her? Richard. I thought she was seeing me. She was the no, Dolly Bird. You know, she's um, Cliff Richard's sister, don't you? Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> do you remember uh, come outside? 
There's a lovely moon out there. No. Did you hear her on that song? No. It's number one in the 60s, early 60s. I wasn't even born. <laughs> you weren't even born when the Beatles were around. Yeah, which you know she loves you. Yeah. It couldn't have been a huge <laughs> you, you know she loves you, didn't you? <laughs> it was number one. Yeah, but we weren't a proper number one. Like Not like end dubs. Number one. Number one. Right. When it was just a fling before As now. a tribute to Simon Pegg. Oh. It's my go. No, you have Paul. Yeah, it is. Well, the next right. one is Paul. Oh, okay. All oh, right. Which is what I should have been. If I was we have got legendary movie star Paul Newman. Oh. We have got Paul McCartney. <gasps> oh. Or we have out the Bible Paul the Apostle. Did Paul become Saul or Saul become Paul? You don't know, do you? Right. So we go Saul the Apostle, Paul Newman, Paul McCartney. Who are you going for? It's the Bible, isn't it? Better call Paul. <laughs> <laughs> if it's the Bible, surely that's going to be. But then it's Beatles and all the all the people. Paul McCartney. Yay! He was when one. When I think out loud, I'm Paul the Apostle was yeah. two, Paul Newman was four. It's all the <laughs> What's that? My right. <laughs> it's N. It doesn't matter if it's spelt with an E or without oh, Okay, okay. Oh, right, you have got... Anne Boleyn. Princess Anne, the Princess Royal. Very You've hard got working. second wife of Henry VIII, Anne Boleyn. Oh, this is hard. Or you have the famous, the most second most famous diarist in history, <laughs> Anne Frank. Oh, oh that's that hard. is yeah. hard. Well, <laughs> that was my uh, former card. That's what I did. Well, you knew. <laughs> <laughs> John again? Uh, yeah, go on. You've got diarist Anne Frank, Henry VIII, second wife Anne Boleyn, or Princess Royal, oh, the, princess, hot. the Princess Anne. Yeah. The best son I like her. Prince Philip never had. My, yeah. <laughs> my, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to. She pre- should have been king, oh, she? Oh, definitely. Well, queen. No, no, she's well, a good yeah. bloke. She'd be a good man. Oh, okay. My mother Much more man than you. Much more man most, than Charles. <laughs> most women are. Definitely more man than... <laughs> um, I'm going to go for Anne Frank. Anne Frank, way down at number nine. Oh, oh I've first. I just said Anne right. Frank. Right, oh. Princess Royal, Princess Anne, or Anne Boleyn? Oh, Anne Boleyn, no. Well, it's 50-50. But then the Queen's just died, so everyone could have been good. Wikipedia in... And the crown and stuff as well. Don't sway me. Okay, I won't. Let go of and me. And then there's Anne Boleyn, who's... That's huge. I'm going, Anne... Not as huge now, she's lost her head. Well, <gasps> Anne, the Princess Royal King. <laughs> oh. Anne Boleyn is number one. Oh, no, I should have gone with Princess Anne was number six. Right, Bob, you're in big trouble here, mate. And you've... Oh, you've got... No, you've got... Yeah, me, You've me, got... Me. Well, you no, know. that was me. She had the. She had I had the, Dan. Yeah. Oh. You. Well, <laughs> you knew that was me and John. You've got great. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, okay. have you got. You're not great. A great white shark. Oh. And chips. The Great Depression from 1929 to 1939. Comes back. Oh. Secret. Or. Great Wall of China. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> Great Wall of China. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Dave. Right, Bob, you won. Hey! Thought... <laughs> right, you got the Great Depression, 29 to 39, the Great Wall of China, or a Great White Shark. That's hard as well. I do like a shark. Do you? Yeah, it's the You might be swimming around the ocean, you don't. You're yeah. scared in the water. You oh, don't like go in. Shark. Yeah, yeah, but. You're scared not in the water. <laughs> it's the Ricky Gervais joke where he says, uh, oh, sharks are Imagine not. Imagine sharks were, could fly, you know. Oh, they, my God. You walk along the street and a great white shark come flying to the water. I mean, <laughs> bloody hell. Shark. <laughs> you, you just made the world a terrifying. <laughs> uh, you imagine it. Ricky... That's just all. Imagine what his dreams are actually yeah, like. Yeah, Jesus. That... <laughs> um, the Ricky Gervais thing was. Um, sh- just, uh, hey, why, 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 wait, wait, wait! What's documentaries, it? documentaries, sharks, sharks, and Nazis. I could, I could watch documentaries oh about them all, all day long. Um, oh, shark, sharks can can sense a tiny drop of blood, blood? in a huge yeah. thing. Um, if sharks were looking for Anne Frank, they'd have found her like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've forgotten them. Sharks, Wall of China, and what was the other one? The Great oh, Depression. Depression. That's it. Oh, that's that is hard. <laughs> Bless Shark, you. Sharks never went out of fashion, did they? 
They never left Did us. Did you know when you sneeze, your heart stops for half a second? That's why you say bless you. Absolute rubbish. That's what, that is true. That is, that is a true fact. Hold on. <laughs> you don't know when they're going to come. F-I-C-T. You only done that to give you extra time. Yeah, I did. I'm, I'm going to stick with me shark, mates. Yeah. I'm going to go sh- great white shark. I think that's quite a good answer. Oh, oh, right. So you've got the Great Depression of 29 to 39, or you've got the Great Wall of China. But you knew that because you told yeah, me. Yeah, see, I told you that. So I'm going to stick with that. Great Wall of China. Oh, for God's sake. Right. What, what was the depression? Why was it so depressing? Great depression. Well, Wall Street crash. No one had any money. All no the one money, had a inf- inflation thing. went through the roof, and money was worth nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, that made me. Going to de- be there again. That so. made me depressed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tony. Tony Bennett. Is it? Oh, he's not there. <laughs> Tony Bennett. <laughs> Tony Adams. <laughs> Tony Hart. Tony, Tony Blair, ex Prime Minister. Oh, Tony the Tiger. This can only get better. Or Tony Stark. Who's that? Uh, AKA Iron Man, Iron Man again. He's yeah. said Tony's turned up. This episode is sponsored by Iron Man. <laughs> so you got a British Prime Minister, you got the alias of Iron Man, or legendary crooner. I never re really rated Tony Bennett. I was well, afraid to laugh from it. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. Gordon's brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that one? Yeah, I do. That's my humour, that is. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> Bennett Blair Stark. Oh, it's me, is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm waiting for you. We've run out of time, yeah. I'm going to go... Um, I'm going Tony Bennett. <laughs> Blair or Stark? Stark. Oh, what? Oh, you yeah, right. I don't know how that happened, but somehow you got out of order. Because yeah, you went first, but you also went last. No matter what happens, I lose. Out of ten, the final score, Pauline three, Bob one. Oh, Bob! So you got six wrong. We've given you the answers. <laughs> Let me just add it on. Oh, oh, she can't wait. Look, look at her oh, putting her score on. Oh, um, Why she does that, let's go over to day four today. Diary. Oh, you caught me out there. Right, it is Saturday, 22nd of February, 1975. Get up around 1 o'clock p.m. What? That's probably the last time you laid in, isn't it? <laughs> Watch TV and listen to radio... Then go to Jackie's house in early evening. Go out straight away to a quiet pub in Bexley Heath. Then go to another pub in Welling. Then go for a wimpy. Oh, oh, I love a wimpy. Blimey. I always feel sorry for people in wimpy. I don't know why. It's a problem with I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know why. No, there was very little McDonald's around at that time. Phone up Jackie's mother to ask if she could stay at Sue's with me. But the answer was, and I put it in block capitals, <laughs> no explanation mark. <laughs> so obviously there was a big shout of no. So instead we get a cab back to her place and stay the night there. And a little post grip at the bottom. Really great day. Oh, DWR. you must have really enjoyed that then. Yeah. So you have to write That's it. very respectful for you to ring Nan and ask... So just stay away. Just she not come home that night. Why are you been paying attention? I know, what's but going on? I know. I'm not shocked about that. She won't even mind now. Yeah, I know, but I would, I would, <laughs> I would expect you to go. Go on, wifey, tell us, us, Nan. <laughs> Everyone's name's in the world. Everyone, she would have asked her on the phone. Oh, was, you said you. No, s- I even I got there. Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's why I thought it was respectful. Okay, uh, Get that, that brave <laughs> diary. <laughs> Um, I just want you to summarise these two people, uh, Pauline, oh, your thoughts on um, them, and then lead on to your, your vote. All right. Simon Pegg, a oh, bit of nothing, really. Okay. I know people will probably not like that, but what does he... I don't like the You're films. You're getting your coat on him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the films. I don't... So you don't it's like, just... You like Paul, did Paul, you? Up, yeah, Paul... Dave was the one. <laughs> <laughs> but the others, it's just not my humour. I can understand her. Everyone else might like him. 
Dave Allen, hugely pleasantly surprised. So it's obvious where I'm going. That leads me to, what am I saying now? Dave Allen. Yeah, Dave Allen is mine. Okay. I was pleasantly surprised with that. Okay, over to you, Dave. Summarise and vote. Um, sort of piss all right. I mean, I've, I actually watched him on a couple of chat shows and he comes over as quite a good. Big Beatles fan, apparently. Mm. Oh. Um, he does an impersonation of all four Beatles, doesn't he? Oh, I've never seen He's that. Never seen no, that, I've never yeah. seen that. Um, I, I like him as a person, that, but... I th- I liked his first film. Uh, Spaced, I wasn't over keen on. If, if an episode came on, I'd watch it. But, you know, I weren't rolling over in the aisles, you know. Sean of the Dead, I liked. I did like the other two. I liked Paul a lot. I thought that's, I've watched that twice. <laughs> that's rare and for I you. Might yeah, watch it, I might even watch it again. That's rare for you. Uh, I, don't, I just don't see him as Scotty. I just don't. I thought that was a strange bit of casting. But uh, Dave Allen, I like Dave Allen. I liked him then. I like him now. I think he. he I don't think he's aged to. You know, it's not dated. No, you know, I didn't think like it that. Was I mean, I think it comes across quite good actually. And I can see how certain comedians will be influenced by him with his style of just standing there telling stories. Yeah. He doesn't tell jokes, but he does tell the odd joke, but not much. He just tells it just no, like it's not in your observations yeah. and stories. I think that's why why I like what, to listen what, to him. It's what alternative humour is really, isn't it? Yeah. Not like the Bernard Manning uh, Jim Davidson who tell jokes all the time. Alternative comedians they don't, they just sort of tell stories and that, you know. But I've got to go to Dave Allen. I think he's a, he was a comedian. So it's two two zip two zip. Um, I, I am. I feel like I'm from Simon Pegg's era with Space. I was the right age for it. I think. Um, and I do look back on it um, now and again to, and it does help me become a better writer. Um, and you can see why Simon Pegg went has gone as far as he has. Um, very talented guy, but I. I watching some Dave Allen stuff recently. I knew he was good, but it's just, you know, like you said, even now I'm laughing my head off and it yeah, was made all those really years. Yeah. And I do like that kind of, I think that's sort of a, a, people don't do it anymore. That whole kind of relaxed, it is like the funny, like your mates in the pub of that ilk. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Dave Allen. Which is surprising. I, as soon as that yeah, draw was made, I thought, you, I thought yeah, I'd go for the thing. Yeah, I was surprised at that. But yeah, Dave Allen. Uh, Simon Pegg has gone out. Dave Allen is through to the next round, um, which is coming up very soon. Very soon. So one, we more have round one more draw. Should I just turn these two over? Yeah, go on, Dave. Yeah. Tell us, tell us, tell us. Uh, Joe Wilkinson <laughs> and Catherine Ryan. They must know each other. Oh, Pretty definitely, well, definitely. Yeah, Joe Wilkinson versus Catherine Ryan is our last matchup of round one. Um, Dave Allen goes through. Simon Pegg is out. Um, I've got a little bit of a surprise for the next round. Oh. oh yeah, you've got a little dance going on. Uh, got a new intro. Oh, no. For round two. For, Please let for round two. Show. For round two, yeah, yeah. Got a new intro. So look forward to that. Is it the same bloke? I can't say oh. with Dave. I can know no inf- more information than that. We're sometimes very disappointed, don't we, Dave? I was last time, but he grew on me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is quite funny, because he's only five foot one. Hey! <laughs> um, don't let it be like your pervert one that you did for the last series. <laughs> <laughs> the music one. Hey, man. I'm surprised you changed the uh, intro all the way through it. I know, it's not the done thing. I've never done no. it before. but I I've paid got, for it, have you? I've done it this time. I can't tell you, Dave. That's all breaks all the rules. I can't tell you that, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, Simon Pegg is out. Um, Did he go in the pot? Dave Allen, yep, has yep. gone through. Uh, Catherine Ryan versus Joe Wilkinson. Next one, the last one of round one. See you in round two almost. See you later. Bye.